Okay, this video is the merits of prevention and treatment in managing disease, including social marginalization issues, government priorities, means of infection, and scientific intervention. Okay, so first of all, we're going to look at the types of healthcare. So most countries in the world emphasize curative healthcare. In other words, governments spend money on hospitals and medical faculties, which are designed to cure illness rather than prevent them. So curative healthcare is um, basically like curing the actual disease and it can have impressive results where enough resources are allocated however the expenses involved are beyond the resources of many of the world's countries so this is more typical to like higher income countries and more developed countries preventative health care on the other hand consists of measures taken for disease prevention as opposed to disease treatment so just as health compromise comprises a variety of physical and mental states so do disease and disability which are affected by environmental factors, genetic disposition, disease agents, and lifestyle choices. Health disease and disability are dynamic, pro <laughs> are dynamic processes which begin before individuals realize they are affected. Disease prevention relies on anticipatory actions which aim to prevent these illnesses developing before they actually occur. Um, and then primary health care is different as it combines preventative and curative. So many nations are coming to realize that it's better to prevent disease where possible than to wait for people to get sick than cure it, because that can be much more costly um, in the long term. Okay, now we're going to look at all of these different factors that are in the syllabus points. So social marginalization issues. So you kind of must be registered by the registered by the government and the health services, which can be difficult for immigrants low-income earners or those in rural areas and like to actually kind of receive these healthcare benefits and some groups may actually need affirmative action if they're not like if they're not receiving what everyone else is it's like it can be quite unequal in different countries or it can be costly the different costs and things like that where people need to maybe um, have like some sort of loans or like be a part of some sort of program to to like receive curative and to receive primary health care basically but in countries like the uk you have like the nhs so everyone has access to health care um government priorities so some governments have other goals that may be more significant such as dealing with civil unrest or governments may be corrupt leading to large inequality so the government must be willing to prevent the disease and have the means to do so or they might need some sort of intergovernmental international cooperation scheme um if they really are like struggling like when a lot of countries in sub-Saharan Africa have to deal with things like malaria. They often have this sort of intergovernmental, non or non-governmental like involvement. Okay, means of infection. So non-communicable does versus communicable diseases. Communicable diseases are more challenging in some cases as they are contagious. So it's more like you have to be very strict with them. Whereas, and that does depend on economic development um, because in HICs tends they tend to have more of the treatments for non-communicable diseases and for communicable diseases there tends to already be like vaccin vaccinations more easily accessible so it just kind of depends on the facilities of the countries themselves in terms of dealing with it scientific intervention so countries with the means to invest into scientific intervention such as cancer research academic research or vaccine development will be able to develop more curative healthcare in addition to preventative because of, of course vaccinations um, are preventative um, so these are different factors that play into like prevention and treatment in managing disease and why different countries might have a different amount of um, either one or in their primary healthcare systems or why primary healthcare is good because it combines the two